Hey guys, it's Ken and Ben again from KBD Productions TV. Today, we are going to be doing an unboxing from Camping Survival. Dot com. They sent us a box of stuff. A guy named Tom said, hey, how would you like to try it? And I said, well, does it have food in it? And he's like, well, it's got a few things. The only thing they couldn't ship was this uh, uh, thing of pulled pork in a can. It was part of the whole camping survival thing. So that's the only thing that's not in here, but everything else is in here. Go ahead. All right. You can do the honors. Benjamin. All right. All right. Check it out. Oh my goodness, something's already on. What is that? Charged or charging? So it's um, it's a light. You can inflate this, and it's a solar-powered light. So you'd put it, let's oh, say, okay. while you're eating or something, you'd put sure. this in the in the sunlight, and then you can hang it after blowing it up. You, you, there's a valve. You blow it up, and then you press it, and it'll. Uh, that is so so cool. It's like a lantern. So and that's why it's green. Is because it's charged. Oh, so that's what it looks like, people. Are we just gonna get everything out and then talk about it? Okay, let's get everything out. Do any of you guys who are of my age remember this? There was a commercial on this called The Pocket Fisherman. And I don't believe this is called The Pocket Fisherman, but it is a tiny little- This is The Compact Fisherman. This is The Compact Fisherman. They probably got it off their idea or bought the rights to sell it or something, but it is a basically a fishing rod that you can throw in your backpack. And hopefully catch food if you're like dying in the in the wilderness. Stuff bag. I guess they couldn't send any of the food. Okay, we pulled everything out of the box. Like we said, there's the pocket fisherman. Uh, we might give that a quick little try. So this is basically a personal life straw. So we can open it up, right? It's not gonna. Yeah, affect of course. It. Knife it. Okay, guys, that's the life straw. Obviously, you just take off this little protective thing on the bottom. Put that into your water. And this, it basically start drinking your water through that, which is really cool. One of the things uh, we talked about uh, when Tom said he wanted to send me some stuff, because uh, there was food involved in it, but because uh, he was shipping to me from the States, uh, he couldn't ship things. So uh, unfortunately, one of the things that you guys like to see us do on my channel is watch me eat stuff and review things to eat. This is a 130 by 210 centimeter uh, emergency blanket. So that's amazing that you can just wrap yourself in that and it'll keep you warm. Then we got a stuff bag. What'd you get there, buddy? Oh, this is cool, okay. So I got these cards that tell you what plants you can and can't eat in a forest and it tells you where you can find them in the US. Edible wild food cards. So you can eat pine, you can eat yarrow, yeah. It even gives you a little chain that you can stick through the... Yeah, all the holes on the top. And then on the back, it tells you a bunch of stuff. It tells you, like, do not eat more than a few berries. Contains methyl silicate and aspirin relative. Do not use as bulk food. Use sparingly for medical purposes. The entire plant's edible. Two to six inches high. Flat, shiny, dark green. And they seem like they're... Are they waterproof or...? This is not a waterproof case, now, But these might be waterproof. That's what I'm saying there. Oh, and you can use these as a deck of cards. Even though ah, the fronts are all different. Okay. Oh, no, you can't. Oh, no, you can. You can. That's cool. So it's a survival kit teaching you what you can and cannot eat in the forest. Probably just all the things you can eat. Yeah. But then it's also uh, playing cards. This was the stuff bag. And you can put uh, your clothes and it will keep it dry. Your sleeping bag. Quite a big, large bag just like that. Is that waterproof? Uh, yeah, it's water resistant, I would imagine. This is an LED light, 12 LED mini flashlight. 5,000 working house hours, rubber grip requires three AA batteries. Okay, so you gotta put three triple A or double A? Triple A. Looks like triple A. Triple A batteries in there. Put that back in your light. Screw this back on. Nice little tiny compact LED light. Something we can try is this light stick. Okay. He wants it. We got three different colors. Red, yellow, and green. It says 12 hours, and it's almost 2 o'clock. So, so tonight, I'll stay up until 2 o'clock tonight, see if it's and we'll still see working. how it's working then. So if you know a uh, rescue chopper is coming for you, you light it off, mm -hmm. and hopefully the chopper sees you in the first 12 hours. What is this? Uh, I guess oh, you it's got like a little cord on it so you could hang it from something if you didn't have around your neck maybe. Or something. All right, here we go. Break it, shake. Oh, I don't want to break it. Break it. 
Oh, there we go. Wow, wow instantly. that's really bright. Look how bright that that's is. That's crazy. I don't think the camera picks it up properly. Oh. In, in real life, this is like... I don't know, it's pretty bright, like it, man. It, you, can the, read, you can read off that. You can read off that, and it's 2 o'clock, and I can see the glow on my fingers. All right, let's go for this uh, solar wind-up radio. Let's see if we can pick up a station somewhere. So it's a little solar and wind-up radio, so if the sun isn't shining... Uh, yeah, it's going on AM or FM. Kind of hearing something there. Obviously it's working and it's working off the charge I just gave it. I don't want to find a radio station because we won't be able we to play We did find music. a radio station we probably would have been able to fine tune it. But it has a headphone jack on it, an antenna to help your reception. We also got the surgical set. Which you could have uh, used recently. Yeah. One straight hemostat, one curved wow. hemostat, one mayo. Um, I don't know what that mayo, means. Mayo, heger, needle, holder, one pair of scissors, tweezers. One number three scalpel handle and then two scalpel blades. Wow. Scalpel get... handle. So this is the scalpel handle and then it Surgical comes with blades. Sterile surgical blades. Sterile alcohol wipes. That's awesome. Awesome. Very cool. And then it comes with a kit that you can throw all this stuff in. This is amazing. Oh, we got a thing in there. What is that? This is a prodder. <laughs> a prodder. It comes with a pen light. Ah. It's a pen and a light. All in one. Oh, very nice. So while so you you're could, sewing up your, your you friend's could, face. Hmm. I'm gonna trim a beer hair. Yeah. Nice. nice. Got one. Now we're never gonna be able to use those scissors. Uh, that's right. Well yeah, that's what the sterile wipes are for. Ah, nice. Very nice. We can throw all the um, stuff back in. They're all that. stainless steel. None of the actual tools are sterile yet. All these amazing surgical tools. Again, this, I guess, like you said, this is the one that, see that? So you, you grab something and then you go, you tighten oh, it and then you can let it go and, and it won't can, let go. That's actually cool. Like that is very cool. So this oh, is the scalpel. Super. That's really cool. It feels, I feel that. It feels just like a total, I've never actually probably, I don't recall ever holding a scalpel, you know, not legally. Legally. The one time. The one time. I think we should open this up. Yeah. Now, besides the surgical kit, which is extremely cool, I'm thinking this this thing is just amazing because it's got all, many options to hang it up wherever you want. Did you Solar turn it on power. Yet? No, I haven't tried it yet. You want to give it a shot? I just want to show. Unless it's already on. And it's just really dark. And it's just really dark. Give it a shot. Oh my That's goodness, cool. that totally lit up. That's awesome. You can see that. Can take off the screen. Or no, it's not a screen. I think it's, it's inside like a protective like thing, so you can be. You can just stay in the wet outside. You don't have to worry about it. And then when you're finished, just shut her off. I think that's the coolest thing ever. I wonder who figured that out. And then you just deflate it. Really cool. So that way you don't have to carry around a heavy lantern or something with you. Oh my goodness. And you can have it flashing too. That's really cool. For an emergency. It's got three settings. Very nice. And then you just fold it back up. I didn't do it right. <laughs> and it's ready to be packed into your bag. Again, leave it out in the sun, make sure it's fully charged. Water purification tablets. You throw them into your canteen and it just says, clarifies and dis disinfects naturally polluted water. I wouldn't trust mud water. No. Because where's the mud try, gonna go? Try to get the clearest water you can, throw a pill in and away you go, you can drink. Military canteen with but, cup. Sometimes it's made out of quartz, sometimes it's made out of plastic. A one quart plastic. Nice. <laughs> For water only. It's got uh, belt holders. I think. This will also help with condensation a little bit. It's got a little spot on the bottom, a little hole for w excess water to leak out the bottom. It's actually so it's got um, this holder. And I think this is. So this is supposed to be a cup. Yeah. I think you're supposed to be able to like scoop. I think maybe it's for. It. I think it's more like hot stuff. That's why you'd have handles it on says, it. It right? says. Do not apply canteen to open flame or burner plates. Right, so but that could this, be. So this, when this is in it, could you put this and theoretically maybe 
I don't think so. No, I'm thinking that you'd have your water, you'd pour your water in here, put that can... on the fire, yeah, okay. let that, that heat up and make your soup or whatever inside that. It's not very uh, sturdy there until you put it in I don't that. think it's supposed to be, yeah, it's supposed to be in that, I think. Very nice. And then that's supposed to be in here. And it's got also little pockets for your purification tablets, possibly. Probably, open so you, that up. So the purification tablets come in this little camouflage bag, so if you drop it, you lose it. And it's got all the, the pills. It's got 30 purification tablets. And I, I would imagine you would stick them in there. Can that you would... put that in here? You'd put the, just the tablets, not that. Yeah, part. not the whole pouch. You wouldn't, you wouldn't really need 30 tablets. Well, depending on what kind of camping trip like you're going cool. on. You'd put it on like a backpack strap or a belt and then you can put Snap it in. Snap it in. I've never seen that kind of mechanism. I've never before. seen that kind of mechanism. We didn't talk about this. because What is that? that? Silver gel. Apply generously to skin as needed to help promote natural healing. So I guess this is used, let's say you got a scrape or a pretty serious cut and then you do your own surgery. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it looks like you just uh, just apply it to skin. If you have ever used this before, guys, let us know in the comments below what you thought of it. Oh, I mean, open, open it. it, yeah, sure. In a little bit. We can put it on your face. Give it, oh, it's like a, it's definitely like a clear ah. gel. Yeah. Do a little, little dab? Let's do a little dab, see if it heals me. Just a little, whoa. Oh. It's like, um, what's that stuff that you, you do this? Aloe vera. Uh, aloe vera. It doesn't smell like anything. Moisturizer? Uh, no, a Purell. Oh, like a... Disinfectant. Hand sanitizer. That's what, it, that's what it felt like. Let us know in the comments below what you know about this product. Well, we haven't Here. talked about the backpack either. Really. Okay, let's look at the backpack. This is a combat tested deluxe day pack. It's interesting that it doesn't have the waist strap because a lot of day packs yeah, do. Just for the... That's curious. And then it helps, right, with your... You're supposed to not even have the weight on your shoulders. Right. You're supposed to have it all in weight. So, waist. It looks like it's pretty spacious, though. So it looks kind of waterproof, too. all your too. gear in there. Yeah, you could put probably almost everything. You could put everything in here. in here. So we decided to also open this up. Why not open up everything, right? What is this? Something No, in that's here? just a weight. I'm thinking that inside sort of here. Means. <clears throat> there. What? That's all your, that's your gear. It's probably a hooks. Oh, that's a, a, a wristband thing. Cool. It also has like a belt holder, so you can just quickly snap it to your back. That's this is for practicing. Right, ah, okay. So you cast it, reel it in. Nice. Yeah, that's just for, for casting. Press your button, cast. That's cool. I'm, gonna actually, I'm actually gonna try this at the cottage. Yeah? See if I can catch a fish with so it. So we'll do an update eventually. Cool. Yeah, because how would you if you break your line you have to figure out Oh, oh. <laughs> there goes the glass window. <laughs> I didn't expect it to go that <laughs> Oh shit. Sorry. Oh so it does come with a hook. One so hook and then a uh, wrist strap. Like this right here. Yeah. Where yeah. did it hook on? Oh, okay. Well it comes with something that we can't figure out right now. I'm pretty sure that's for line. This looks like a fishing line kind of thing, right? So. And last but not least. The third uh, edition, because the first two didn't work. Oh, oh. perfect timing. Show them what we, you so, turn to. It shows you what to do if you get the fish hook caught. Through your finger. Through your finger. So it looks like here the, uh, the barb has gone through. You cut off the barb and then you pull it back through. There you go. How to take a hook out of your finger using the survival medical guide. I actually knew that one. What's this? Nail injuries. Nail plate. This is the nail anatomy. Oh, oh no. So it's showing you everything uh, from fish hooks to what uh, third degree, second degree, and, and first degree burns are. Time How to save somebody degree. from choking, although by the time you read the book, uh, <laughs> the person would be dead. We just want to say thanks to Tom from CampingSurvival.com uh, for sending this awesome package. And you can sign up on his website and you can receive one of these packages and uh, they give one every way every month they give one away uh, and it would also if you live in the states it would come with pulled pork it would come with some survival bars and some tabasco sauce stuff like that so definitely go check out his website give it a give it a sign up and yeah so thank you for watching and we will see you guys on the next video on the next unboxing on the next unboxing with ken and ben